Here are the five most exciting things I saw at the 2023 Hackaday Supercon. This meeting of hardware hackers takes place in Pasadena, California and brings out the best and brightest of the maker community into a three-day show of blinky lights and creativity. First up is the conference badge itself. This year, volunteers helped to solder together the badges, and I personally made about 75 of the 500 plus badges that were total made. The Vectorscope badge features a Raspberry Pi Pico soldered on the back and this beautiful round color TFT display. The badge runs MicroPython and you can generate signals with the buttons on the badge, which are shown as a vector on the screen. Of course, the first thing that hackers wanted to do was to customize their badges. And because it runs MicroPython, I was able to upload a series of AI generated cat photos to replace the default planet photos in order to make my badge a little more personalized. The secret to this was pretty simple. You just had to format it to a very specific image format, and then you could overwrite the existing files in order to make your own cat theme badge. Another highlight of the conference was the Meow Mixer. This was an event that I put on at Null Space Labs to get together conference attendees to check out the local hackerspace and work on some fun projects. Me and a couple of the other attendees also were able to prototype a device that screams when it senses a flashlight and left it in a dark place as a Halloween surprise. Another highlight of the conference was finding an interesting material. These flexible and strong LED strip lights that are made out of woven steel wire. Now, this is ideal because typical NeoPixels can't really be bent very many times before they are broken, and that means they're not very good for applications like clothing, cosplaying, and more. These are actually perfect, and I was able to find and use them at the conference to do a lot of cool animations, especially using WLED, which was ported over the day before. I also came across the Core 64, a project that is both beautiful and incredibly cool. This interactive core memory kit is a fusion of retro and modern tech. It uses core memory, like in the Apollo guidance computers, and represents data with an array of multicolor LEDs. Imagine a magnetic memory technology where you can actually see the data. The kit I picked up includes 64 bits of core memory, a 64 RGB LED matrix, a logic board with an Arduino compatible Teensy. It even includes a magnetic wand stylus for interaction, and it is incredibly cool to be able to see the data be read, written, and destroyed using core memory. And finally, onto my favorite project, the deceptively simple looking jumperless breadboard. This project is a dream come true for circuit builders because if instead of jumper wires, you can actually do all of the routing in software. This board uses analog cross point switches to make real hardware connections via a GUI interface. It's fully analog, it supports voltages up to 8 volts, and it also is equipped with DACs, ADCs, and GPIO pins for digital or analog signals. It makes circuit building super fast, intuitive, and really easy for people who don't want to mess around with wires, jumpers, or off by one mistakes. And that's our scoop from the 2023 Hackaday Supercon. From innovative badges to groundbreaking projects, this is one of my all-time favorite conferences. Stay tuned for more.